hi everyone and welcome to island block now today i'll be showing you how to trade on orca which is a decentralized exchange built on the solana blockchain so now the first thing you do is you go to orca.so so as you click on the link and load the web page this screen comes up so now the next thing you have to do is you have to connect your wallet so when I click on connect wallet, I can either connect my phantom wallet or my solet wallet. So at this point where I'm doing this video, the phantom wallet is still not available yet. So you'd still have to um, send your email and sign up for the beta testing. So you have to use solet wallet. So once you click on solet, this page pops up. Now here it's requesting that you create a wallet. So I'm going to create a new wallet now if you already have a wallet you should just um, log in you can just click restore existing wallet and input your seed words but then if you don't have a wallet you should back up this seed freeze then once you back it up i'll just copy that and click i have saved these seed words in a safe place then you press continue then you'll be told to paste it then I'll press continue. Then I'll just input any random password. Now this password is how you access your account from time to time. Because this Solet wallet you have now created will be saved on your browser. So let me just pick a random password. Just click that. And. So once I click on create wallet, my wallet will automatically be created. So now it's asking me, a request was sent and it's asking me to allow this site to access my Solana account. So it's asking me to permit orca.so which is the platform I want to use to trade to interact directly with my Solana account which I just created. So I'll press connect. Now this way my account shows up here. So this means that when I transact, you know, when I want to buy or sell or do anything, I'm directly interacting with this decentralized exchange through my Solana wallet, which I've, you know, just created and logged in. So these are the tokens I'm currently holding on this wallet. Now it's empty because I have not um, used it at all. I just created this wallet. So let's say you want to buy or sell any coin here. The first thing you have to do will be to deposit in your wallet so let's say I want to deposit soul for example all I have to do is come over here click on copy address then I would send Solana which is soul to that wallet address you can buy Solana from Binance and you know there are still several other exchanges where you can get Solana from it's currently trading there and buy and then withdraw straight to your wallet and use it to trade directly on the Orca decentralized exchange. So right now, I'll just move on to crediting my wallet. So now that I've credited my Solana wallet, all I have to do is come back to connect wallet, click on Solet, then input the password which I set up the first time when creating the account. So I click on lock, then I permit it to connect with my wallet. And now you can see that I currently have some soul here. So let's say I want to swap soul for let me check for any coin that is here for radium. And I would like to swap let's say five Solana for radium. So now that I've clicked five, now they've told me that for this five I would get fifteen point three seven eight, which is approximately two hundred and thirteen dollars. It will cost me two hundred and seventeen dollars. But then I'll get in tokens that are approximately worth $213. And now they're telling me that there's a 1.9% increase. So it's more expensive than on CoinGecko. And they're asking me if I would like to still continue with that transaction. Let me just swap one SOL. So as I see this, then I click on exchange. And then this pops up. So I have to approve the transaction. So once I click approve, then it's confirming and automatically I have traded one soul 
for 3.076 Ray. So if I come over here and refresh, I would see that Ray is now in my balance and then one soul has been taken away from my soul wallet. It's very, very, very fast. Very fast. So let's say I want to buy another coin. Let's say I would like to buy SRM, for example. And I would like to swap one soul for SRM. Now they're letting me know that it's a fair price, meaning it's actually the same price um, across majority of the exchanges. So if I click on exchange, it's approving the transaction and then automatically I am asked to approve. And once I click approve, it confirms and it's successful. And now it's already appearing in my wallet. You can see SRM by the left hand side. So now that I've successfully swapped, I can check here and see my balance and see every coin I have bought. And if I click down, I can check for several other coins. There's still rope, there's tether, there's ethereum, there's radium, and some other tokens as well. So let's say I would like to sell what I just acquired. Let's say I want to sell my um, radium back for Solana. All I have to do is click, come over here, click on radium which is read that i just selected and then i press max because i don't sell everything and so they're telling me that if i sell it now i'll be getting back 0.994 soul and it's a fair price so then i click on exchange and i just have to approve that transaction so once i click approve the transaction will automatically confirm and it will be processed so I just have to click here and it just gets processed instantly. So that is how to buy and sell on Orca Exchange. So checking my wallet now, I can see that I've sold Radium and I have my Solana back. Thank you so much for watching and do have an awesome time. Bye-bye. Thank <laughs> you.